here to help to bring to life some of the instruments that are in the display and that are recorded in my grandfather's recordings so people can get an experience by learning how to dance or learning how to move their bodies accurately and learn how to clap the rhythms and sing some songs and just have an experience of, of traditional African music. It was an um, intention of my grandfather through all of his work to save the music of Africa so that it could be given back to Africa. Um, he had a project called the Codification and Textbook Project, uh, which was never really realized in his lifetime, I think because of funding problems. Um, but it's become our mission now to continue to preserve and interpret uh, the recordings and the pictures and, and the instruments so that um, Africans can remember uh, what their ancestors used to do because in many places um, the musics are no longer found or no longer practiced because of the change in cultures, the urbanization, westernization and uh, many youth are, are out of touch with uh, the ways that their parents and their grandparents and their ancestors used to do and um, there's some very many beautiful things that shouldn't be forgotten so um, from my grandfather's time he realized that because African music is an oral tradition that if people die, if their wars, if the instruments are lost then that music is also lost and then you lose a huge library of oral information so he was trying to preserve that for the future for not well mostly for Africa but also to inspire uh, people all around the world really.